evening, everyone. Here is Zato again. I'm trying to uh, resolve the problem we had uh, in the morning. I will be I I will be going through the steps very quickly, uh, including the first problem, and I will uh, show you uh, what's the problem we had uh, in the first lecture. So again, uh, we have that problem if you remember. And uh, we know geometry, we know uh, the, the cross section and material uh, properties. And to do that quickly, go to the preprocessor step, define your elements, and add beam 188. Okay, show that as cubic form, and then okay, and add the uh, uh, constraint as nonlinear multipoint uh, constraint and okay then the material properties here again is 210 and then 0.3 then okay then section we have one section beam section with width equal to 0.5 and depth equal to 1. And okay. Then we have we we have, we, can, we will create the key points in active coordinate system 1 0 0 0 2 0 0 9 3 0 0 10 4 1, 0, 10, 5, 9, 0, 10, 6, 10, 0, 10, and 7, 10, 0, 9, and 8, 10, 0, 0, and that's it. Okay, then we will create the lines, straight lines from 0 to one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So we have eight points and we have seven lines. Okay. Then what? Then the meshing is there. So again, as I said before, we have two elements, two elements, beam elements and the rigid elements. So I will first assign the beam elements. So material property number is one and beam section is uh, uh, named as a beam. Then okay, then mission tool, set those lines, one, two, three. So ten pieces. Then okay. Then mesh those lines accordingly. Then what? Then change the default attributes to multi-point constraint. No section. Okay. And then choose those lines. only one piece then mesh it okay. then we actually finish the preprocessor step go to the uh, solution step to define the loads and boundary condition so the boundary condition here on key points those key points I am Then I will apply the pressure on beams, select, select those elements and K in direction of 1 as I said and with value of 10. Okay. As I said before, I will get that warning because 
no, we can't apply any distributed load on the rigid links, but that okay. Then, as I said, to, I need to take the effect of the removed load here and here. So I have here concentrated load equal to negative 10, and I have here also positive moment about uh, y-axis equal to 5, and here also negative moment about the same axis equal to negative 5. Okay, so uh, I will apply that forces on nodes, and that forces in direction of z equal to negative 10. Then at that point, I have my equal to 5, and at that point, I have my equal to negative 5. Once you define the geometry and the meshes and the bound condition loads, you actually define the entire model and, need, and I want to solve that now. If I press that now, so I will get the same error that I had in the morning. Let's see. See? It won't run. Why? Because actually I forgot to specify the rigid link type or the, or the rigid link properties. So here we had to, 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 to press that option and we will find that that rigid link was, was, was uh, default as rigid link, not rigid beam. So here it's a frame problem, right? And we need to transfer all the straining action here to that point, from that point to that point. Okay, so we had to specify that rigid as a rigid beam. Okay, if I press okay, then actually that, that reduction method, Dr. Bidat, I think we will we'll discuss that with you uh, later. Uh, don't worry about that, but yeah, in any type of it would be uh, working correctly. So, okay, okay. Now, if you go to solve and solve it, okay, I will accept that warning. Okay, solution is done. Okay. Now, we need to uh, uh, display the results. You go to general post processing. Again, the deformed shape and under the deformed shape. Very, very similar to what I had in the uh, uh, slides. Then, if I want to, for example, define the uh, uh, f uh, bending moment, for example, again, from element table, define table, again, help. One thing here I want to mention here, I am using uh, version 19, Point one. In the lecture, I used uh, a version 18.2 because I, I was actually uh, uh, working on my laptop and I didn't update myself with the last version. And the help menu in the version 18.2 uh, is somehow uh, not different, but the interface is somehow different. So I will show you here how to use that uh, help menu inside that version we are working on it. So if you press that, it will be transferred to another web page here. Just click that mechanical FDL 19.1 and search here for beam 188. Okay, then select that, then go down until you got that table. Again, I need to display the moment in Y. So the first point is 2, the second point is 15. So add MY Z at point I by sequence number equal to 2. Then MY, uh, 
it is shot not uh, G is not here. So M Y I M Y J by sequence number fifteen. Okay. Okay. That warning is saying that element uh, one the multi point constraint cannot um, display any bend moment. Um, Then I want to display it. So plot results, contour plot, line elements, M I, M Y J, K, OK. And here we are, um, the same results that we had in the uh, slides. OK. Uh, I think that's it. Thank you. And sorry for the uh, error in the lecture.